name but Ms. Javi and welcome to... What the hell is this? This doesn't look like a toy review. Well, let's call this... Uh, let's call it what it is, alright? It's a goddamn let's play. And this is a game that I have been playing for the past probably month or so. Or, or few months actually. Maybe almost a year. I don't know, but check out my gaming time my hours holy crap i put in so much time into this game and if you guys don't know what this is it's hollow knight and hollow knight one of the best games that i've ever played and i feel pretty confident in saying that because as you can see here 95 percent i'm almost done with it so yeah if you guys haven't checked this out check it out on steam it's only like 15 bucks i think and 15 bucks gets you a lot of content and this isn't sponsored, by the way. I just really like this game. So anyway, what we're doing here right now is something called the Colosseum of Fools. It is an optional challenge room. Well, I believe it's necessary for you to uh, get it to 100%, but basically, it's fucking hard. And as you can see here, there has been three tiers of challenges, and I've already completed one, two, and now we're here. The Trial of the Fool. And it is called Trial of the Fool for a reason, because you have to be a goddamn fool to put yourself through this madness. And you will see what I mean when I activate this power up here that allows me to speed horizontally across the screen. Because I don't need to see this build up again. You know, there, there's this section here that's a build up to when you're walking to the Coliseum. I don't need to see that because I have seen it probably a thousand times. All right, so here we go. You'll see that I have played this too many times. Ah. Oh. Uh, when you get hit in this game, you know that you get hit. It it fucking sucks. God. My first let's play and I'm doing kind of bad. All right. All right. That's good. Okay. Oh, fuck. I don't know. What do you guys think about the whole like hit Oh my god, the whole hitting system <laughs> that it pauses the whole game when you get hit. It just it makes it so much more intense. And Honestly, I hated it at first when I first started playing this game because it just it just really rubbed it in that oh my god, you got hit. Don't you see how much you suck? But oh my god. Oh my god. What oh my god, I am making so much bad moves right now. It's always like this. It's always like this when I first open up this game. <laughs> As you can see here, you have a dash that even allows you to pass through enemies sometimes and I just got a good bounce there. Okay, I love bouncing. I love bouncing. Okay, let's see if I can charge up. There we go. So you can see, the more I hit enemies, the more soul I get, which allows me to use my uh, power-ups, my special moves, I mean. And it allows me to heal. And I am going to die. I am going to die. I am going to... Oh, oh, whew, that was a tight spot. Okay, these guys are easy. These, oh, that was lucky. All right. So I could just chill back here and I could just charge up. You can see on the top left of the screen there's my soul i feel kind of sad that i wasn't able to share uh this experience with you from the very beginning but you know at that point i was still working out in the closet and if i i wasn't in the position to do uh late let's plays and it is very late right now as i'm recording this i believe it's almost 1 a.m my mama tells me i can stay up late <laughs> all right this part sucks Oh my god, oh my god, here, advanced strats, advanced strats. Got that Mega Man X wall jump. Okay, these guys are, these guys are pretty easy, they're just kind of annoying. There you go. Oh, and uh, for any of you who ha have played Hollow Knight, you might be wondering why the hell am I taking these guys out so easily. I got the fully upgraded nail, I think it's got the perfect nail actually. And the nail is, uh, what, the Hollow Knight? Or the two oh oh fuck. The 2B Hollow Knight has as a weapon because they're all bugs, you see? So it's not a sword, it's a nail. I get it. Because he's small. Ah! Okay, okay, but Yeah, shut up. Oh yeah, and I also got the upgraded uh howling sp no not howling spirit, the fucking shrieking attack thing. The up B. Oh fuck. Oh god, I have one one health already. Oh right Oh! 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 Alright, alright. I can charge up. Oh god. Close saves. Oh yes. Alright, this part sucks also. This is pretty fun so far. If you guys like this, uh, make sure to leave it a like. Oh my god. I'm actually doing this, th that whole thing. Well, 
what I wanted to say honestly is, uh, if you guys like this, please let me know in the comments and I will gladly play some more games for you guys. And some games that I am not familiar with. This game, as you can see, I am pretty familiar with already. So, I'm not hilariously sucking for you. Oh! Ah, oh, god, I, I usually do better at that bounce. Okay, okay, bounce, bounce, uh, bounce, okay. Yeah! That was a good play. Let me charge up if I can. Okay, this part sucks! <laughs> I keep saying this part sucks, but every every part sucks of the Colosseum of Fools. Before I even got to this point, I died several hundred times. I'm not even kidding. I wish this game had a death counter, because I really want to see how many times I d died. And not Oh, fuck. I misused that. <laughs> and not just for this... Uh, oh, God! Why am I doing that? And not just for this part of the game, but for the whole game in general, because there's a huge difficulty spike, honestly. If I could pinpoint one problem with uh, that I have with the game is that the difficulty gets fucking difficult really hard out of nowhere. Oh, God. I have one HP. I'm gonna fucking die. Ah! There we go. All right. Uh, that was pretty far. <laughs> oh, mother. Oh, mother. Oh, yes. Easy. Easy. Oh, God. Okay. Alright. Yep, got that guy before he even came. Alright, I got the advanced strats. Uh, that was part of the strategy, don't worry about it. Oh my god. Yeah, the, the get caught in an enemy sandwich strategy. And then immediately get hit by another enemy on the ground. That's a lead strategy there, guys. Alright, that was good. Now, BAM! <gasps> Deep breaths. Deep breaths. This is my first Let's Play that I've recorded solo. I'm not used to uh, filling up long silences without a guideline. <laughs> because a little fun fact, the toy reviews uh, usually have some sort of written outline so that I don't waste any time uh, dead air and anything like that. Gives my video structure. But for something like this, why did I do that? That's so bad! Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, for a video like this, I have no script at all. So I'm just making shit up. This is how you do it, right guys? I'm doing- I- I'm let's playing properly. Yeah! God, I love this game so much. It feels so good! Especially when you're winning. It feels awful when you're losing, that's for sure. And like I said before, when you get hit, they let you know you get hit. I hate it. This is my favorite game ever. I hate it. Also check that link in the description for some merch. Grabbing Hong merch. That- that was kind of a joke. I died. I- that was instant karma for me plugging my merch, uh, unprovoked. No one asked for this. For any Hollow Knight players also, I got some charms equipped and no, um, projectile or, like, surrounding- Fuck, I should've done my advanced strat- I'm talking too much, god damn it! I'll probably show you my charms the next time I die, and I am going to die. I hate these fuckers. They seem so, like, harmless too, but god damn, they- they do a lot of- They mess- they mess you up, like that, look at that, oh. Oh, I'm in a good spot. No! Uh, uh, there, there it goes. That's what I mean. For any of you Hollow Knight players, this is what I got so far. There you go. That was nice. That was not nice. Okay, charge up. If I can, I can. Alright. Okay. Oh, no, this person could have come out. Oh, God! No! What was that? That was awful. I, I, uh, I blame the controller. Time to get serious. Oh, that reminds me. If this video does well, well, if, if there's demand for it, oh man, a game that I really would want to play on camera, Mega Man Legends. Oh God, one of my favorite games. Also a very masochistically hard game because it's a Mega Man game, don't you know? Not a typical Mega Man game, but, uh, uh, more of a dungeon crawler, and I, I absolutely love it. It's like if it, uh, if Zelda was actually hard. <laughs> Got him! Alright. Oh, and I think I should probably address something. I, I know a lot of people are going to point out in the comments that in one of my Failbox videos, I mentioned that I'm not much of a gamer. And let me clarify about what I meant by that. I love playing games, but certain kinds of games. And when... When I hear the term gamer, for some reason, my mind always goes to, like, 
what's popular right now, you know, like PUBG, Fortnite, that kind of stuff. Basically, or anything that my friends are playing that I have no interest in. That's basically what comes to mind when I think gamer. And I, I am still sucking, and I just died. So, so that's nice. You see, I'm not, I'm not a gamer. I, I'm not good at games. That means I'm not a gamer, right? I like this kind of stuff. You know, like old school platformy side scrolling, uh, Mega Man Legends, like PlayStation One era games. I really love Crash Bandicoot, of course. Oh fuck. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Spyro, I love Spyro. Uh, Reignited Trilogy looks really cool. Oh, and I'm out of just throwing <laughs> shade at it, but Zelda. I love the Zelda series, actually. And I love uh, Zelda, Zelda likes, like Okami. I would say Okami is one of my favorite games also. Even though some of the cutscenes could be overly long sometimes, but the gameplay and the visuals, beautiful stuff. And I don't think it's like too early to say this, but Hollow Knight, it's up there, man. I really love this game. And for 15 bucks, it's a goddamn deal, man. God damn it. Team Cherry, sponsor me. I am plugging your game free of free of charge. Even though I am sucking and it feels awful to, to get hit and die, I love it. I I love this feeling of you know conquering a really hard video game and just learning the ropes of it. Uh <laughs> I fucking jumped into that one. Holy crap, that was Awful. Any of you guys in the audience keeping count of how many times I died? I really want to show you guys more of this game, but this is what I'm doing right now personally. Trying to beat the Coliseum of Fools. I don't even know if I get a good reward after this. If you guys remember at the beginning of the... When I just got into the Coliseum, there was two other trials that I completed. Well, those trials gave me some good stuff. And all of them give you money, so... Hopefully, it's worth it to beat this trial. The final trial. And oh good god, is it the final trial? It's, oh god. Oh, I hate when I can't bounce properly. It's the worst feeling. It's worse than getting hit. Failing a bounce is worse than getting hit because you just feel like such a badass and then at a point it's like, oh god, I fucked up. That was perfectly timed because that is what I wanted to say before I got hit. It's so satisfying to get a hit in too because they get this like really nice squishy sound. And from the squishy sounds of this game, I believe it's just someone going, <laughs> it's some Frenchman going into the microphone going pss, pss. That's how the sound effects sound of this game. And I don't find, I don't find it to be a problem. I actually like it. Adds to the charm. And speaking of charm, this game, charming as hell. As you can see, the designs of the game are pretty dark and kind of icky, but the art style itself is very cute. I mean, our player character looks like a, a, a baby, a very soulless baby, ironically, because the whole game in, revolves around getting soul. But yeah, uh, there are some points of the game that imply that the character has no soul. Uh, it is literally an empty shell, a ghost, if you will. A hollow knight, if you will. <laughs> I get it. Focus on not getting hit and getting hits in. That's a good mindset to play this game. So you want to evade and you want to hit. Evade, hit, evade. Oh, I love this technique. Oh, fuck. I shot that too early. That's what she said. I mean, no. Oh, God. I suck, but that was cool. Playing hollow knight's always a good time. Even when it's a bad time. Like now. This is a bad time, but it's a good time. Uh, you know what I mean. Hey gamers! If you know what I mean, leave a like on this video! <laughs> okay? Okay? No! <laughs> oh! Did you see that? Well, of course you did, because it's recording. Oh, that was a good play. Fuck. I'm not afraid of you! I'm not afraid <laughs> Uh, all right, Mr. Mantis boy, girl. Oh no! Oh, I hate these guys. I fucking hate them. They, I hate these like support enemies. Oh god, did you see that? That's how you're supposed to do it. You're supposed to dash through the enemies. Oh god. Oh god. Okay, the wall jump here. Not just for drama. Oh! I hate those blades. Fuck. Oh, oh, oh god, my palms are sweaty, man. I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it. Don't worry about it. If, if you wanted to unsubscribe just because I'm doing a Let's Play, make no mistake, I won't give you another reason to unsubscribe. I'm like providing their death sounds. 
Oh, Batman. Oh. Have you guys watched Batman Ninja? Talking about Batman. I don't know if it's even out yet, but that just looks so bizarre to me. I love Batman, by the way. If you couldn't tell. But for some reason, that project in particular doesn't really interest me. Even though I love Batman and I really like anime. I don't know. Um, I think it's just how they handled it. I think if it was like an anime in, in the vein of Gotham Knight. If you guys remember that. I would be more interested in it. But the, the whole CGI. I, fuck. Talking about Batman is getting me wrecked, dude. Okay. I needed that. Yeah, if it was in the vein of Gotham Knight, like that style of animation, I, I think I would be more into it. But the whole 3D an anime thing, uh, not really my cup of tea. I mean, from the trailers, it doesn't look bad, honestly. But I don't know, there's just though, there's always something off about it. And also the, the concept seems kind of weird. You know what? No, no, no. Let me let me retract that. The concept actually sounds awesome because Batman, in essence, is a ninja detective. But what really gets me is that he's... And here comes an original observation, by the way. He's clearly not a ninja. He's a samurai. Come on. Come on, DC. What are you doing? Oh, that's something, too, that I take issue with Batman Ninja. Giant robot? What the fuck? I don't know. It just kind of ruins the aesthetic of, of the whole movie, I feel. Maybe, like, the executives at Warner Brothers Animation, they were like, It's anime. It's gonna have a giant robot in it. <laughs> I don't know anything about creativity. Like, a concept like that, Batman and Feudal Japan, doesn't need a goddamn giant robot to make it interesting. So, I don't know. Let, let's see how that pans out. Honestly, I used to be so much more excited for the DC animated stuff than I am now. I, I don't know what happened. Maybe... I think the last one that I really loved was Under the Red Hood. That was such a good movie. And I don't know if you guys can let me know if there's been any other animated DC animated productions that have reached that caliber of quality. Yeah, le let me know because I would like to watch them. I really love the DC characters. It's kind of interesting that I'm talking about DC while playing Hollow Knight. But hey, I guess that's, that's what you call a let's play, right? Just talking about random bullshit while playing an incredibly hard game. NANI? Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh god, that was awesome. They all will take one hit, guaranteed. Okay, maybe before that I should charge up. Yeah, well for hell. Love that. Bam! Talking about DC. Have you guys any of you guys seen the, the new trailers that came out of out of Comic Con? I think it was Shazam and Aquaman that came out. And you know what? Uh some of my friends are saying that the Shazam trailer looked goofy, goofy as hell. That's the point, guys. Shazam is supposed to be goofy. He's he's a goddamn little kid in a grown man's body, and comedy ensues. And I actually really liked how that trailer came out. It was it was really fun, and I I really hope that it's a good movie because it might it might be the lightness that the DC DCEU needs. And if we're talking about DC right now and my love of Batman, I am not a big fan of the DCEU how it is currently. It just seems like whoever is handling the material there does not understand the material. A lot of people have suggested this, but can't you just get the animated people? The the people like Paul Dini and Bruce Tim, Like, get get them on a live action project, man. I don't know why, because like the, the DC animated stuff, you know, back where in the Batman the Animated Series, some of the best stuff to come out of DC. And that's not an exaggeration. I like a hell of a lot more of the animated stuff than I do the live action stuff, that's for sure. You know what, Dark Knight? Really good movie, not gonna not gonna deny Heath Ledger his posthumous Oscar. But man, have have you seen Return of the Joker? God damn! If they if they made Academy Awards for direct to TV movies, that would be a winner right there. I love that goddamn movie. And I hate you! <laughs> oh god. Die. Die. Uh, okay, thank you. Alright. We've gotten pretty far. And we got the Soul Sanctum, guys! If I die here, that's it. Fuck you. <laughs> they only take two hits, too. Ah! Oh, I hate when that happens when I dash into an enemy. Oh god. Oh! Where did you come from, you piece of shit? Literally, look like a piece of shit. Piece of shit. More like a uh, piece of shit. <laughs> ah! Like if you if you find my gurgling sounds attractive, ladies. I am single. 
I really like the battles like that where it's just like one-on-one -on -one sword combat it makes you really feel like a badass. Oh, and I it is also worth saying any any requests for games that you would want to watch me play because I like playing games but not you know, I, I already mentioned it. Oh, you know what though? Uh a first person shooter that I actually really enjoy is Doom. The the new one, the reboot. God, Doom is such a good game. I probably have to play that at some point. I mean, after I reinstall it on my computer because I had to I had to uh, uninstall it. It was taking up a lot of space on my PC, which was custom built by my good friend Miguel, by the way. Shout out to Miguel, the great Migs on Twitch. Oh! I don't know if he still is still active on Twitch, but if he is, give him a follow. He's cool. I, lo I love him. He's a good boy. No, you know what? I take that back. Miguel, you're not a good boy. You didn't buy my merch. Fuck you. Yeah! Ah! No! Fuck! I thought... Oh! Oh, no! Uh, okay! That's gonna end it for me. That was a really nice playthrough. You saw that I am... A little bit skilled, but not skilled enough to beat the trial of the fool. And hopefully, the next time that I play Hollow Knight for you guys, I will have... No, you know what? I'm not even going to practice on screen. I'm going to play exclusively on screen for you guys. Or maybe not. I don't know. Leave, it, leave down in the comments if you want me to actually play through the Coliseum of Fools to completion as a Let's Play, or if I should just do it off camera. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, leave a like, give me a comment. Let me know what you think, of course. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!